So last time we were here, I showed you guys my one wide item dispenser. Now I'm going to show you guys my tileable item dispenser. Stick around. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mind Tech with me, Carburetor. Today we're going to be looking at my tileable item dispenser, but before we start out, I just want to tell you, this is like my fifth take of this thing. I don't know what's going on, but I have found some very weird glitches with this thing, and I will keep you guys all posted for when you guys are building this in your guys' base. But first, let's take a quick look at what I showed you guys last time. This is my 16 item dispenser, and it works really well. I'm really impressed with this thing, but there's one huge problem, and that's you can't place them right next to each other because then the redstone links up. Now, there is a trick that you can do with this called bluestone, where it's a mod where you have red and blue redstone. But you know what? That's just... To me, I, I like good old vanilla, so I'm going to stick with my vanilla and we can work through there. But anyway, this is what I have to show you guys. Now, there is one huge downside to this one, and that one is it only does eight. Now, a few other downsides are it is more expensive, and this one is finicky. I will point that out right now. It is a finicky build. It does not like to work all the time, but when it's built right, it works great i've had this one side here for a while now but i've done some other things with this other side and it has given me a nightmare i'll show you guys one of the problems that is very weird towards the end but first the very first thing i want to just point out is how it's built it's very simple there's no redstone tricker trickery underneath here all that it is is a wooden button it needs to be wooden if you use stone it doesn't work it pushes this observer underneath, which then clocks, makes a redstone clock right here, which fires up and pulses up this observer, detects this observer clocking, and then transfers it through this block into this. You cannot have the observer pumping into this, otherwise it triggers the other side also. So just a little tidbit. Now there is a way to make this a little bit cheaper if you're a little stingy like I am, and that's to put another item up here that is detectable by redstone. I mean something like a hopper, like a dropper, like anything like that. But I decided just to leave it an observer so you guys can see what it's like. Now. A few of the problems I've had with this. The first one is I found that it works better if you have a transparent item underneath here. I don't know why, it just likes it more. Really don't know why. It just, it tends to break a little bit less. Another thing, I had a glitch here where let's see if it's doing it. Nope, it's not doing it this time, but this bottom one wasn't. I literally had to take this all back apart, all the way back to here and rebuild it and it worked just fine no idea what's going on there but i also wanted to make it a little bit more tunable so i decided you know what let's use a stone button and for some reason it does not like the stone button i'll show you with the wooden button it works just fine get eight items no problem get my eight pieces of granite that were right there but if i replace it with a stone button watch it's not going to do it nope it did it now it locks it for some reason and i don't know why i have to break the piston come back in here put a wooden button back in and when it even when it's using the wooden button apparently it doesn't like it oh it was working i don't know why it's not anymore but this is what i mean by you need to have the observers facing in is need to have it like that but let's see what in the blazes is now going on you guys saw it was working before i don't know why it's not working now Ugh. it's one of those things where i just i don't know i am not that big of a redstone expert to know this it's let's see if i fixed it now i should have all right, so if that does happen to you, you need to break this top one, it looks like. Let's test that. Let's break it again here. All right. Set that back up. Oh, why did I use a stone button? I just broke it. No. 
see what I mean though? This is just ridiculous. This is part of the problems that you are going to have. So watch me and learn from my mistakes. It works fine with the wooden button. I'd stick with the wooden button. I haven't tried any of the other buttons, just the standard oak button. So if you guys have any problems with any of the other buttons, let me know. Let the people know in the comment section so that they can know also. But anyway, this is my one wide tileable contraption, tileable item dispenser. If you guys have a better solution, feel free to uh, post it and let me know. This is my kind of stab at it. I decided to just have a fun, you know, little jaunt at this. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos also, let me know. I'm always looking for more videos and I would love to hear more from you. And in fact, actually, I just thought of another idea that I could use for this, but no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. But anyway, I hope to hear from you guys and as always, stay busy, have fun, keep it clean in the comments section. I don't want to hear any negativity from you guys, but I look forward to seeing you guys again. See ya.